Hello and welcome back. This is L.A. Rathbone. Welcome to another exciting episode of the Slackware series. This is part four of series two, which is where we use and configure Slackware. Super exciting stuff here. In this super duper exciting episode, what we're going to learn how to do is set up our email. Now you may be wondering, L.A. Rathbone, how do you set up your email with the command line? Well, that's exactly what I'm going to show you. First off, let's. Uh, I've got a fresh login screen here. It's been a couple of days since I last recorded my last video, so whoops, wrong pass, wrong username. So I'm going to log in as Pop Rocks. I'm not going to use root for now. And uh, you'll see it says I have no mail. That's because I'm all alone in the world. If I run the MUT program, you'll see that, um, okay, this mail folder does not exist. Do I want to create it? Okay, sure. Hit enter for yes, but we have nothing in our var uh, var spool mail pop rocks folder so let's turn disable this there we go now my mouse works fine there's nothing in here no messages so but I have email I mean I use Gmail and I have email I know I do so let's set that up let's quit mutt using the Q key and let's set up our email so there's two main ways of doing this now there's there's the get mail program and there's the fetch mail program. Fetch mail is a bit of an older program. Um, you can always run man man fetch mail to run a little more to learn a little more about it. But it's had a lot of security issues pop up. And if you look at varlog packages fetch mail, it even says in the package description fetch mail is probably not secure. So the Slackware team really doesn't seem to support it. Whoops. So, um, and I've noticed if you just search Google for fetch mail, Slackware, lots and lots of security issues pop up. So I'm not going to be bothering with it. And also I've, I've found that it's a little more difficult to to get working than get mail. Get mail, I find the configuration is a little bit confusing at first, but once you get it going, it really works well and it seems to be really quite secure. So let's go ahead and do that. So what we need to do for get mail is we need to create a directory um, that stores all of our configuration files and this is done on a, on a per user basis I find fetch mail is a little bit easier to get going for multiple users but I think that most people should be able to set up their own email um, on their own account unless you already have the server set up so that it can receive email um, just on its own via send mail or what have you but I think if you're going to be using fetch mail or get mail, each user should do it themselves. So what we're going to go ahead and do is create um, the get mail directory that stores our configuration files. So we'll run make dir dash m 700, and that means make it read write executable or enterable is how kind of executable works for directories. That means you can go into the folder for pop rocks and nothing for anybody else because we don't want anybody else to be able to see what's in here. So let's do that um, for home dot get mail because that's the default location. Now we've created that directory. Let's take a look at it. There's nothing inside. So we need to create a get mail RC file. Let's go ahead and do that with our favorite program. Whoops. Get mail RC. Sorry, VI. What am I doing? Get mail. Get mail RC. There we go that's the file we want and we're going to use VI as always so it's a new file hasn't been created yet we're going to use the I key to go into insert mode whoops let's create a little options header so there's a few uh, heading headers that we need to set up options retriever and destination options are sort of global options for get mail we want to make read all equal false and that's because we're going to be setting up a Gmail account with, IMA with IMAP. And with IMAP, when you fetch a message, it does not delete it from the server, which is the way we want. We, we, want, we want Gmail to still keep its messages so that you can go on to gmail.com and check it. Um, <clears throat> but uh, basically, the read all equals false says just fetch the messages that we haven't seen yet. Um, otherwise, it would just keep looking and saying, oh, look, look at all these messages on Gmail. Let's keep downloading them because they haven't been deleted from the server. So that's not what we want to do. 
If you're using a pop account, you probably wouldn't need to do that setting, but we're not, so we do need it. For the retriever um, heading, you want to go ahead and type type equals simple IMAP SSL retriever, and that's an internal get mail option. That means we're using IMAP with SSL. You can always look at the, the get mail documentation if you want to know more about the different options. The server for Gmail will always be imap.gmail.com. The username, my username, I set up a special email just for this demonstration. la rathbone at gmail.com. Password equals, note that you're typing it in plain text here, so don't choose the password that's too, too secret. Um, or that can be cracked too easily. I mean, my password that I set is called this is a crappy password. Destination is the next header. Type. Um, we might be showing some, we might, might be showing off how to use some standard Unix tools like proc mail later on to sort out our mail. But I want um, to set things up in a very traditional Unix-like way. So what I have to do with get mail that I would not have to do with fetch mail is do type equals MDA external path equals user bin proc mail. You don't really have to know about what that is for now. Just know that that is a very standard MDA mail uh, sorter router program that comes with almost all standard Unix uh, or Linux distributions. So I'll leave that, just trust me on this one for now. And again, just trust me on this option for now, Unix from equals true. That's required to make proc mail work. And that's all we need for that file. So let's do colon WQ to quit. Let's take a look at the permissions of our get mail RC file. You'll note that the users um, group as well as others can read that file. Now because it has our password in it, we don't want that. We only want Poprox to be able to do anything with it. So we're going to run chmod um, 6, which means for the first group they can read and write but not execute it. And 00, zero means um, groups can do nothing, others can do nothing on that file. Get mail, get mail RC. Now if we check it out again, you'll see that it's only read-write for Pop Rocks. Nobody else can touch it. So now that we've got that um, file permission properly, we also want to, we want to test that to see if we can now receive email. So in order to receive email, um, and to check our email rather, what we do is we run the get mail command. Whoops get mail very simple and it says that I have received one message because I only have one in my Gmail account right now now it's telling me that I have new mail in var spool mail pop rocks and this is the biff program telling me that so I can run the mutt command that we used before to take a look at my email and you'll see that I have a new email called welcome to slackware LA Rathbone and this obviously was an email that I sent to myself before. So I'm going to open this up with enter. You'll see that I have a simple email here. And uh, great, so I can receive my email from my Gmail now. So I'm going to hit the I key to back out of that. I'm going to hit the Q key to quit MUT. So now I can receive email using Slackware. And I'm just going to show you now how to receive email automatically every minute and I'll meet you back here because I need to check I need to verify my settings for that alright we're back I'm just gonna clear the screen by doing this hopefully that'll work um, okay so what we want to do is we want to have our get mail command run every minute on our system now you may be asking how LA Rathbone how do you do that and I'll show you how so when we first installed the system you may recall that we uh, installed a pro we had a program start by default called cron and uh, it's a very useful program to have um, it's, a, it's a daemon that basically runs scheduled tasks on your machine and you can do this on a per user basis or as, as the root user for everybody 
Um, but we want to set it up for just the pop rocks user um, to run get mail every minute. So what we do is run cron tab dash e, and you'll note that that runs in our default editor, which we set up before as vim. If it otherwise you, you wouldn't have those colored uh, things on the on the other side there, it would be standard vi. So every minute star slash one. Um, and then put four stars in a row. One, two, three, four. Because we don't we, we don't want it to do it at any specific time, just every minute. We want to run user bin get mail. And what we want to we want to go ahead and do is pipe standard output. So we don't want it to do we don't want it to uh, print a whole bunch of stuff on the screen to dev null, which means send it to nowhere. Um, we could do two dev null um, that would send all errors to, to to nowhere as well. But the, but the thing is, cron will automatically email uh, root. I believe I'll get back to you on that. But I believe they'll email root if there's an error, and it will tell you what the error is. So you don't want to pipe errors to dev null for a cron job like this because we want to know if there's been errors. That should do it hit the WQ command and now automatically get mail will uh, run every minute now I want to make sure that that's working so what I'm going to do is go ahead and send an email to myself and let's see if that uh, works but in order to do that we first have to set up being able to send emails so let's go ahead and edit our mutrc file and again if your ISP does not block send mail, you wouldn't have to do this, but mine does. So I'm going to set up MUT to be able to use a standard SMS, SMTP server. So on my MUT RC set SMTP URL equals, and this is this, this will work for your Gmail, SMTP colon slash slash LA Rathbone, but you'd use your own username there, at gmail.com, that's your username at, it's confusing, but larathbone at gmail.com is my whole username. At smtp.gmail.com, the port number is 587. We want to also set our password. And again, you remember my password from before. This is a crappy password. Okay, that's all we need to do there. Let's save and quit. Let's go into MUD again. Let's make an email to ourselves by typing the M key to larathbone at gmail.com. Enter. Subject. Testing yet again. We, we are testing our Slackware email send functionality. Okay, and you'll note that again we're using our default editor, which is Vim. So it's, that's why it's important to set that early on. WQ to save our message. Hit the Y key to send it to, to ourselves. Okay, email has been sent. We don't see it just yet because we only we, we only pull every minute. So let's give it a few seconds here, and let's see if we got it. Not yet. I'm just hitting Enter here to see if it'll tell me if I have new mail. How about this though? While we're waiting for our new mail. Um, I will let you know what we're going to be doing on the next episode. We will finally be starting the X window system. Let's see if we have our email yet. No, we don't. Let's put this on pause for a second. All right, we're back. I have about 30 seconds left. I will just show you that running MUT now shows me my new email. And there it is. So I'm going to quit MUT, quit that. I'm going to run start X, all one word. I'm going to hit enter. And in the next episode, I will meet you back here in the, in the X window system. This is LA Rathbone signing off. Have a great night.